I made this video so I could show you how fish react this time of year to a boat. It's on my Garmin Life Scope. While I'm talking, watch how the fish react. There's two transducers here that you can see. The one on the left side is a PS30 transducer. It's a downward looking transducer. I have it mounted on the back of the boat. If you look at the top, you'll see a V. You'll see a zero, and that's where the transducer is at. And then the, it's looking forward 30 feet, which is about 10 feet in front of my boat. My boat is about 20 feet long, and it looks 30 feet behind. So you can see how deep the fish are. Over on the left side, it's got the depth. And now, the transducer on the right, that's the latest life scope that they have. You can see it says GLS-10. That's the black box. Now this, I can turn this transducer three ways. I have it mounted by the steering wheel. And I'm looking forward. I have it turned in what Garmin calls perspective mode. It's looking 70 feet forward. You can see it shows 10 feet to one side, 10 feet to the other side. The V where the zero is at is where the transducer is at. So you, on here, you can't see how deep the fish are. You can see the fish. It shows the fish on the top part of the water down to about 30, 35 feet. You watch on here, and you'll see these fish come towards the boat. And when it gets to about 30 feet, you'll be able to pick those fish up on the transducer on the left side you can, and here you can see how deep they are and watch they're diving a lot they dive a lot more than they do coming up Now the red is a trail of the fish. I can turn this trail on or off if I want, but I like, like to see the trail so I have it on. On the left, I have the grid marks turned on. I can turn them on or off. It marks kind of where the fish are at, how deep they are, where they're at, compared to the boat. Now you can see on the left side there's a downrigger ball going down. It stops at about 30. But very seldom do you ever see a fish that gums comes up.
Now I can turn my transducers any way I want. So if I want to look back of the boat, then it would show what the fish are doing 70 feet or 80 feet back. This is supposed to look back 200 feet, but you don't pick very much up. About 80 feet or 90 feet is about the maximum. See those fish that you see scattering? They're scattering and they're diving. When they see the boat, they scatter, they dive. Sometimes they'll dive 20 feet. So if you're looking on the right side, those fish are coming about straight towards the front of the boat. I was at Deer Creek Reservoir and I was in a lot of fish. The ice just got off from this part where I'm at. Most of these fish you're seeing are rainbow trout. There's several other kinds of fish in here. There's some walleyes and there's a brown trout. I have a camera mounted in front. And so that makes a good mirror. You can see me pretty good. The Garmin that I'm using is the Ultra. It's a 126. On the back, it has two plugs where you can plug in two different transducers. This is my Hummingbird Gen 2. I turned the this here is my Hummingbird Gen 1. I like that. This here is a sling blade. It's a five and a half inch. It's glow in the dark. I put my downrigger on bottom tracking, I'm staying 10 feet off the bottom. This is my down, Canon downrigger. You may want to stop and look at all of the information that's on that. It shows, it'll show you your blowback. It show the temperature down at the ball. It will show you a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to get ready. I'm going to show you just a little bit more of the fish. Then we're going to pull that transducer that's on the right side. We're going to pull it out of the water. And I'm going to turn the transducer. And it's going to show you a different view. Remember here, on that right transducer, you can't see how deep the fish are. I'm, this shows, I was in 30 feet of water, and you can see those big marks on the right 
transducer that shows the bottom. This transducer doesn't show too much deeper than 30 or 35 feet. So it's only good when the fish are on top. Okay, we've turned the transducer. You can see that's Garmin's favorite tree, and now we need to get rid of it. We're getting rid of it by turning the gain down, and I'm going to block out the bottom. And so right there, I'm changing the depth of what we're seeing. And now we're gonna go back to our split screen now on this transducer look at the top on the right side you'll see a zero that zero is where the transducers at it's on the I have it mounted on the side of my boat by the steering wheel where the zero is at it's looking forward of the boat by about 80 feet and it shows back of the boat by about 20 feet now you can see how deep the fish are now watch them dive see they get close to the boat which is where that zero is at and they just dive and then then you'll see them come over on this other screen so the fish that you see on the right side are the same fish that's on the left side. Here I've cleared it up a little bit better. I'm not looking at the bottom. Sometimes when I don't look at the bottom, you don't get the right reading on your how deep it is. So this is picking up fish. It's about 80 feet in front of the boat, the one on the right side. And even some of the fish that are down deep, they will dive. Sometimes, this time of year, they're even afraid of that downrigger ball. And the summer, watching this, I'd like to fish for kokanee. And those kokanee will go right to that ball, and they'll hang around that ball. Sometimes from, you know... 30 40 seconds then they'll leave that ball and go to your downrigger or you have go to your lure now I have my setbacks of about 100 feet hoping that those fish will come back up after they dive So sometimes it's a guessing game of how deep they are. Now, we were catching most of the fish between 18 and 30 feet. We did catch some on top. The, at 18 feet was my best depth for catching them. But just... Watch how they dive when you see them. And I'm going to show you 
This is the only fish I took a picture of. I took a picture to show you what I was using. It's a little little dodger. I love green and pink together.